Here we have an Asus 4090 video card that came in for repair. That's how the card looks like. And before we start, let's read what the customer wrote. The customer said, video sound down, light burning smell. I do not know what that means, but my guess is no video and burn smell. Let me plug the card in so we can test it. Usually Big Boss is the one who tests the cards before they are put on my bench. But he left early today and he did not do any testing. So card is plugged in. Let me turn the card on. And if we hear, we have six beeps. Six beeps means the card is not detected. Let me quickly measure the board and see if we have the proper voltages. Since the card is already on, oh, look at this. Look at this current sense resistor. It does not look good. You see how it's bulging from the side here? It looks like there's a burn mark on top. This does not look normal. Just when I'm recording a video, end of the day, a customer knocks on the door. I told him we're closed and he can come back tomorrow. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. So the card is beeping six times. I wanted to go measure the 12 volt lines. And right off the bat, we see a burned resistor. Now a burned resistor does not mean that the resistor, the current sense resistor is bad. That's a current sense resistor. We cannot just measure it by a regular multimeter, but as long as that resistor did not increase in value, then we should be okay. Right now we do have power going into the card, so we cannot measure it right now. But what we can do is, if we go here, meter and voltage mode, if we go here, okay, so we have 12 volts here. We have 12 volts here, yeah. Twelve volts, twelve volts, twelve volts, twelve volts. And when I say twelve, I mean twelve point twenty five. We have twelve point twenty five here, and we also have twelve point twenty five here. So voltage is getting in. It's going to one end of the current sense resistor and to the other end. That tells me that this resistor, this current sense resistor, did not change in value, but it does look burnt. It's something to be concerned about. Twelve point twenty five here. Of course we're not gonna have any core because the card has been on for the past minute or two, so core shuts off. We do not have a heat sink on the board. Let me measure one point eight. And we do have one point eight. One point eight one nine. One point twenty or one point nineteen. We do have twelve point twenty five down here for the connector. We do have five volts. So basically we have everything. While the board is still on, let's inspect it under a thermal camera. I'm gonna turn the power supply off and back on just to see if the GPU will power on or if anything else on the board will show any signs of heat. And that board is gonna keep beeping until we turn that power supply off. All right, so let's power off the GPU. The power supply is now off. Let's turn on the power supply again. Oh, I see something on the bottom. Look at this. I see something on the bottom and something lit up on the top. 
One more time. Watch. The heat spot on the bottom is still there, but the one on top is gone. Let me disconnect the cord. What's down here? Oh, look at this. We got it. It's obvious. It's obvious. Look at the damage here. The chip is blown. See that hole? And we do see signs of burnt flux on the sides also. What is it? SIC 654A. I know Dell laptops, they have the SIC chips, but not the 654A. More like the 62 or 63. I do not have this specific chip in stock. And I do not have a similar video card to extract that chip off from. Right now, the problem is obvious. And I'm also concerned about this current sense resistor. Look at the way that current sense resistor is blown. It's not blown, but it's bulging from the side and it looks bad. It may be nothing, but this chip, definitely we have to replace it. Let me just do a quick visual inspection. I want to look on top here also. This chip got hot for a split second, but the chip looks good. Same chip, 654A. I'm going to order the chip. I'll order a batch of them, and we can replace this one. If we have to, I'll replace the one on top. I just want to quickly go over the board. Just a quick visual inspection. I want to do quick measurements on some of the components. I see corrosion here also. Look at this. The customer did not mention anything about liquid damage or or what happened, but that's corrosion. I mean, I do not see any signs of liquid damage, so we're not going to assume that the card suffered liquid damage. I do, however, want to go over the board, check and make sure everything is good, visually. We do have 12 volts, we do have 1.8, we do have 5, we do have V-Core for a split second, so it looks like there is a good chance that we may be able to fix this cart. Let's go back here. I'm going to desolder the component just to see what happens. But before I do so, let me go to diode mode or maybe resistance mode. Let's measure our 1.8. What is the ohm reading here? We have 279 ohms, a bit too high, but not concerning. And if we measure our 12 volt lines, what do we have? Oh, 100 ohms. That's very low. Let me go to diode mode. 
Look at this, almost a short, 0 0.09 voltage drop. We should be like 0 0.4 voltage drop. 0 0.08, 0 0.07 voltage drop. So we have an issue here. And the issue here on the 12 volt line is 95% caused by this guy. 95%. You know what? Before we waste any time, let me go ahead and desolder this component and we can measure again. And we can also attempt to power on the card and see if the card will come on. I do not know if there's any NCP equivalent to this SIC chip or any other chip that's equivalent to this chip. Otherwise, we're going to have to order the chip. It's going to take a couple of days. That's likely a 50 or 60 amp chip. Luckily, we do not have any aluminum capacitors nearby. Let's take a look at the chip all the way from the other side. Now look at this, the burn is all the way down here. It looks like the pad, this pad, it fused itself down to the board. See, that pad ripped off the chip and it fused itself to the board. I mean, all the solder melted on the board and I'm still not able to remove that leftover piece. We're gonna have to grind it. But you know what, for the time being, let me just go over the card. I'm gonna attempt to power it on or maybe we can measure here and see if we still have a low diode reading. Meter in diode mode. And look at this, I'm reading 0 0.3 voltage drop. I'm no longer reading 0 0.07 or 0 0.08. Now the value is gonna go up, but the board is still hot. 0 0.29, great, great, awesome, awesome. If I go to resistance mode, what readings do we have? We have 169K. Before we had what? 70 ohms. That's very good news. Very good news. Now let's attempt to power the card without the chip. No six beeps. No six beeps. I'm looking at the screen here. And we do not have a logo. But the thing is, we do not have a heat sink on the video card. And the video card is burning hot. Burning hot. That's good news. Let me turn the power supply off. We no longer have six beeps, so that's the problem. That's 100% the problem. I'm gonna attempt to use this tiny heat sink. I'm gonna put it over the GPU, over the core, just for like a split second. I wanna see an image. I'm gonna press it down and attempt to power the video card on. And I have it like this.
So maybe that tiny heat sink can absorb. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Wow. That did it. That tiny heat sink did it. I'm going to place an order for the chip. And when we get the chip, I'm going to attempt to remove the leftover piece that's molded to the board. If I'm not able to remove it, then I'll grind it. And then we can solder the replacement chip, invoice, and mail it back to the customer. Wow, that was an awesome repair. Awesome end of the day repair. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.